But you are driving us back and you are making a Samson out of us and we are going to pull down the pillars. It should not be particularly surprising. To Black America, what is it that we want? There are zero studies that show any of this. So the bottom line is this. Not only has policy been corrected, it's been overcorrected in these areas. What about schools? Schools, What what, what specifically is uh, is a racist pattern, in your opinion, as far as the educational process or the schools is concerned? In most cases, they're being educated, say, with a drug problem to learn how to uh, use methadone. These are prejudices in society that people are not aware that they have. Let's go back to Kevin and Jamal. In the 1980s, it, the banks were not lending at disproportionate rates. In fact, if you look at among different communities, as Thomas Sowell has pointed out, when it comes to college education, it is also worth noting. The story doesn't end there. A big part of systemic racism is implicit bias. These not only if whites try to deceive blacks about uh, the realities, but they, in effect, deceived each other about the realities. Since the 1970s, the most prominent measure that has been used in order to admit black students to major universities across the country is increasing public school funding and making it independent from property taxes would be a great start so that poor and wealthy districts can receive equal access to resources. The role of institutions in a dominant in, in a society is to reflect the power that controls that society. So we have American institutions arrayed against us. Why is it that black people don't own the land where they live? White people own that land. We've never been taught property values. You see, we've never been taught property values. I don't own Harlem, for example. Black people don't own Harlem. So who gives a damn whether Harlem burned down or not? How are you going to tell me to love this property that exploits me every day when the average black man in Harlem works the first Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for a landlord? Historically speaking, Owning a home and getting a college education is the easiest way for an American family to build wealth. I've observed that myself. I, I of course, would put a different coloration on it than the other side. Question. Yeah, uh, since there's a need for brevity, I'll make my question as short as possible. Um, if one does an historical analysis of the situation as it exists in the world at present, there's an increasing tendency on the part of third world countries to gravitate towards the socialist ideal, whatever it may be. And I'd like both sides of the fence to address the question as to why this is so. Is it an ineptness on the part of radicals and intellectuals? Or is it a clear analysis of historical perspectives? Just tell me all my suffering would have been for something. What if it's a trick? (sighs) As you know, Mr. President, I have been a lifelong card-carrying Republican, and yet I was always a good soldier for the party. I sincerely believed, and still believe. We need to look at what kind of societies did black people come out of? What happened before this interference? Now, we came out of basic pluralistic societies, but we came out of sharing societies where nobody was very rich and nobody at all was poor. Now, an African in this society would no more kill a deer and say, this is mine, than he would fly, because he didn't think that way. He thought of all property as belonging to the total community. Now, we were brought into a society as slaves just at the time the concept of private property and capitalism was getting well underway with the backing of the church. Now, there is a clash between the values are the, the best values of the society we came out of in the society that enslaved us. And too many of us are tied up with these values, the sacredness of private property. What is so sacred about private property? What is so sacred about one man taking upon himself more than he could use in a lifetime while people walking by this mountain of wealth uh, starved. Uh, Nothing has been popular, about popular is that uh, you have to conceive of the world economy as a gigantic division of labor. Every single socialist nation that takes socialism seriously ends up with concentration camps and mass slaughter. Let's look at it in principle. We want black privilege. We're accusing people of wanting white privilege. We want special privileges. We want to be able to fire at police officers, to assault them, and to make it home, and to tell police officers, maybe try later, maybe later, I want to be arrested. Probably kill myself after you leave. Probably just get too drunk one night, you know how I get. 
don't know, just jump out the window or something. I don't know. Oh, well. All right. You and I are like, about the same age, right? We're in our mid-30s. How long is it going to take before guys who think like you, and I'll say guys who think like me, people who don't want to have racism in the country, people who don't want to be oppressing any minority, whatever mm -hmm. it is, sexual, whatever minority, really get into positions of power and can change things? You can't get in a position of power, it seems, if you think like that. It seems that the only time you get in a position of power is if you like the people that are in power. To me, I mean, that's the way it goes. I mean, people that get to become executives become like the people that were already executives. I don't know, maybe... They go in with good intentions, but... We can't pretend that what we're looking for is equality. We're not looking for equality. It eats them up. It's like a cesspool, you know, it just gets on you and it starts eating. The system eating. levels them. <laughs> Right? We had equality. We got bored with equality. Now we want something more. We want to be treated differently. We want special privileges. Pretty we soon it's all gone. Is that gone. what a cesspool sounds like? Yes. Yeah. All right. We'll be back right after this. Okay. Here's a good guy. Don't go away.